Okay, so you've had your first attempts at writing code and fixing errors. This type of experimentation is a critical part of learning Android development. Let's talk about the size of views now. We know that the width and height are expressed in DP values, or density-independent pixels. This makes it look good across a range of different devices. However, there's still room for improvement in this UI. If I change this text here to be something longer, for example, wait, today's your birthday? Notice that the text updates here, but that it wraps to two lines. Ideally, it would all be on one line because there's plenty of screen real estate on this side. The reason the box didn't change size is because we gave it a fixed width and height of 150 dp. When you set a very specific value for width and height like this, this is called hard coding a value. It's generally considered not good practice because if the text ever changes like this, then it looks funny. We have to go and change the width to something like 200 so that it fits all on one line. But it would be such a hassle to keep updating the width and height based on what the text is. You might not know what the text is until later. For example, if you have an app that's showing news articles, the title of each story may change. And you don't want your UI to break if you have a really long title or a really short title. So in Android, we can solve this problem by setting the width to be a special value called wrap content. This adjusts the width of the text view so that it's precisely the width of the content inside of it. It's not too short and it's not too large, it's just right. Similarly, for height, instead of setting it to 150 dp, we can set it to the special value of wrap content. Then the text view will update so that the size of the text view is only as tall as the text inside of it. Now, setting wrap content for height or width is very powerful because you might have content beside it on the right here, which will now be shifted over because you don't have this excess space in the text view. And similarly, if you have other text views below this, now they can shift up to right below this first text view. Back to the news app example. If this was the story title, you wouldn't want the story description to be all the way down here, 150 dips away. Instead, you'd want the description to be right up under the story title. Zooming back out, let's try a shorter string. Okay, it's time for you to practice now. We want you to change a couple things with the code. Change the width and the height of the text view to be wrap content. Then change the text to be a really long, long sentence or paragraph so that it displays more than one line of text on the device preview. You can even type out the full birthday song if you wanted. That's pretty long. The code to get you started is linked below.